So the more that I work with people doing spiritual readings or helping them to uncover their own psychic gifts, I find that I am gifted more power within myself. Um, even if it's through dream work or I'm doing a simple card pull, um, I start having more experiences and these experiences start shifting and changing um, depending on where I'm at at the time. Um, so I thought it would be fun to start just sharing all my psychic experiences and the crazy fun random stuff that I encounter as I go along my daily, my daily life. Um, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to try to kind of include my own experiences. And the point of doing this is so that you can kind of take a look at the stuff that goes on with you and you can be able to uh, start to see that you have power as well. This isn't something that is just for people that are psychic. Everyone is psychic. Um, it's your mode of connecting that varies between you and the next person. So it's important that you start paying attention to the messages and the signals that you're getting. You're getting them through feeling, through hearing, um, through knowing, through seeing, and in different ways. So don't underestimate what kind of information that you receive um, and that you start utilizing for the work that you do or how you create in this life. Uh, so I hope that this helps you guys. Um, this will be the first video and hopefully I'll just keep this going, but um, some of this stuff is going to sound a little bit out there and it's gonna sound a little crazy, but you know what? I know that a lot of people are having these experiences and they're afraid to talk about them for fear that people are going to judge them or um, think that they're crazy or start labeling them certain things. And honestly, we come to this new space where that can't matter anymore because it doesn't do anybody good. Um, and so I'm hoping to inspire those people that are going to be watching this to let that fear shift away um, and come more into their power because things are changing. There are other energies that are stepping forward and uh, for a long time I had blocked those things. I had kept those things uh, blocked off uh, from actually seeing what was always there. Um, and. As this journey started, yes, the angelic realm were the beings that were stepping forward um, to kind of give me comfort and love and support. Um, sometimes people think that they're that it's ghosts or like the spirits of the people that have passed, and that's not how it was for me. Yes, I've gotten um, orbs and pictures before. I was in Egypt and I got tons of stuff. Um, I have things from the Queen Mary ship. I have faces that appeared in pictures and things like that. Um, but that's how I kind of let it stay barriered, was just between photos and then not wanting to see anything that would happen in my actual reality. So as I accepted all of this stuff, that's when the, um, the angels started coming forward. And it was all about the um, archangels and the angels that work with me. Um, and as that grew, I discovered that there is so much more than that that works with me daily. Um, and I have recently discovered that my guides and my angel team is so massive that I wasn't even fully prepared. I was thinking, oh, you know, there's like probably like five to 10, maybe. Like, maybe. Um, and, then, and then on Saturday night, um, I went out uh, to see some good house music downtown LA, got back, and I was in my apartment, and I simply closed my eyes, and all of a sudden, it was a flash of 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 different guides that were stepping forward for me to see them. So it was like um, one one person, or the first person, or or being she was feminine but she had different like higher cheeks and like rounded off cheeks but was, she was smiling at me and then her face mushed into somebody else's face and then all of a sudden it just kept changing and a different face and the face would turn into another would turn into another i mean there was native american there was a little boy there was females there were animals and here's where it gets interesting there were um, et beings that were stepping forward as well 
Yes, you heard me right. I know it's gonna sound a little bit out there, but something in you says that this might be true. So these ET beings, and honestly, I've never even seen in a film or anything, uh, were coming forward, but I was not afraid of this. They would start shifting into another, shifting into another. And um, I mean, there were animal ET beings too, and they would just show themselves to me, but they were all smiling. Like they were all really happy that I was seeing them or allowing that. Um, and there was my mentor session earlier in the day that I think that unlocked that capability because I had more trust with myself. So then they all said, finally, we're gonna come forward. So they all came forward and were showing me themselves. I got a bigger message during that moment that was saying, open your eyes, just keep your eyes open. I, and, I, and I opened my eyes and I was just like, oh my gosh, I could see the light beings around the room. Not only that, um, just to describe what they look like for me, is it looked like an orb about this big. There was multiple of them and there's a different heights. And I know that they're listening to me now because I can feel it. Um, but there's these orbs that are this big and there's this ball in the middle. So there's like a ball in the middle and the orb itself of light looks like sparkly energy like this, and then it radiates out like this. Like just radiating, like that. So we could see it around the room in different areas. Um, and I I just said, you're welcome to, be, to come closer to me if you like. Um, I invited it closer and it floated across the room. I did have someone here during the time, so they know what I was talking about was very valid. Um, and I watched this orb be this light being flow across the room just slowly over to me and stand in front of me and I just smiled because it was so absolutely beautiful and I didn't need to have my eyes closed to see them. Not only that, there were other ones in the room. I even said, where's my guardian angel? And then I got this message. So then I looked behind me next to the window over here and I said, oh, there you are. And then I felt a tap on my shoulder at the same time and I could see another energy standing or sitting almost like on the couch or like here. So as I tune in a little bit more, um, I didn't have to try so hard just because I was in a good mood. And when, I was in, when you're in a high mood, you can see higher vibrationally, higher vibrational things. Now they step their energy down and you step yours up to kind of meet in that space that you can be able to perceive them the way that you can. So I'm looking around the room and I'm seeing energy, like almost not, not necessarily a pillar of energy, but like a static body that just like was up and tall. And I could see, and there were different levels of them in the room. Um, and I could see that there was no fear. It was all light. It was beautiful. And they looked different. So sometimes I could see the outline of facial features as well. And, and, and I could see them move. So I can actually see this with my eyes open not just like closing it, but like open and they, they, what they do, and they do this very often both in meditation and within when I'm just looking, they will move like this, like this really flowing move and I can still so that I can see what they look like from a profile stance and head on. And typically when I see visions as well, if they really want me to see, to make sure I know what the item is or what, what is in the vision, they will move in the direction so that I can get almost like a 360 view and be sure of what I'm looking at. So this is a, oh, Los Angeles. Um, and so this is, you know, something that went on for a very long time on Saturday night. Not only that, but I was, I hadn't eaten because I ate dinner and I went out. And then by the time that this was happening, it was later. So I, um, I kept getting visions of tofu bowls and in different variation and forms. So it was like a plate of tofu with like other things on it. And then there was like a bowl of tofu. And I was like, they kept telling me to eat. They're like, you need to go eat. And I'm like, oh, I need to eat because I have to ground. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> so I literally, I didn't eat tofu. Um, I uh, made myself a protein shake, my greens and my protein shake that I like. So um, I, Literally just, I drank that and then went back to Vision Quest. Um, but literally, even in the room above the ceiling, you can see the ceiling above me now, but um, underneath the ceiling was another layer of energy, of colored energy, almost like this other, it was just a 
another dimensional layer that I'm gonna say. There's a dimensional layer, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, and literally I was like, people are gonna think I'm crazy, but something says I have to, I keep getting this message of like, just do it, just do it, just post it, just, just do it. So here I am, <laughs> oh goodness. So, um, and then when I looked at the wall that you can see behind me, right there, the little spider up there, uh, in the corner, I saw what looked like a crystallized sh uh, geometric forms of shapes against the wall. And they were going across the whole wall. And I even said, um, I said there's a crystalline grid literally on the wall going across. And um, the person that was here said um, it was a protection, it was, it was a protection grid. Because sometimes when I pick up on these messages, um, there's also someone that can that gives me a piece of information that I don't fully understand. I kind of say what I see, and then there's some there's a message that's given to them, and then they can tell me. Um, it's yeah. This is yep. This is this is it, guys. This is life. Um, and honestly, it's pretty damn incredible. It's pretty damn incredible. Um, I did have questions where um, I started during that night. I'm just talking about this one experience. That night I did say, um, I started like tuning in going, okay, I want to see this person or I want to see this person or I want to see this being or whatever. So what's been happening recently is I've been getting in the mornings, I will wake up, I keep my eyes closed just so I say, hi, is there any messages that you want to give me or any information before I wake up? And this blue being has been stepping forward into my vision. And when I say blue being, it is like, this energy kind of like, all of a sudden there's all these sparkles within the vision. So I keep my eyes closed, there's sparkles everywhere. And then all of a sudden, all the little like sparkle bits of energy go like this. And they come together and they create what the vision is. So this being, this blue feminine, be honestly beautiful feminine being that is blue with a larger head uh, is stepping forward. And she will just show me herself and she'll do that head thing I said. She'll start moving her head and I look at her and she's just showing me herself. But this is a whole new like step in this direction so I have not fully been able to understand why she's coming forward at this time and, and who she is fully. Um, but you know what? That is literally the fun of the whole thing. Have fun. The more you tune in, the more you do work for yourself, the more you help other people, um, the more that uncovers. And it's this beautiful experience. People are messaging me all the time right now. They're like, you look different. You seem different. And I mean, look at I'm letting my natural hair grow out, you know? And I used to think I was defined by that. And now I find that I'm more in my power so much more just that I've done that. And that I've let go of other things that I thought defined me or I was dependent on. And really that was just a creation that I did, you know? So that's why I'm sitting here being able to talk about any of this and a blue being that comes to me in the morning. So I know that some of you are having your own experiences. And I know that you think you're gonna sound crazy if you start talking about them to other people. And I'm gonna bite the bullet for you and I'm gonna start that conversation. If you have had experiences of your own Reach out to me, talk to me about them. Like if you're confused about anything, let me help you with something. You know, like I have people that reach out to me all the time and sometimes they feel like I'm the only person that's in their, their, their line of sight that they can be able to talk to about this because they know I'm not gonna think they're crazy. You know, um, I didn't know that when I first was, when I first, stepped back into anything that dealt with spiritual readings and stuff like this. I did not know it was going to be what it is right now. And I did not know it was going to happen so rapidly. But as one thing unfolds, another unfolds, another unfolds, another unfolds. And I know that even in my own past lives, this is what I was doing in past lives. I was an oracle for people in ancient Egypt. And I've seen that in a vision. I've seen that in a past life regression that I did once before. I know what my life was like, and I know that I'm carrying over that same purpose to help others in this one. That's why my whole purpose is to help leaders to hold their light and to stay in that powerful place 
And I am so blessed to be working with people who I find are leaders. This goes for people who are creators and musicians and artists and um, leaders of large groups of people, of businesses, uh, people who take care of others, healers, doctors, um, you name it. Like I, influencers, you know, like, I cannot sit here and be afraid to talk about, oh, the fact that I see light beings standing in my living room or I see, you know, energy. When I work with people doing past life regressions or readings, your beings show up for you. They show me them. They will stand behind you and their light will radiate. And sometimes you have a lot of them. Sometimes you have your past relatives that come through and will stand there with you. You know, and and I'm so I get to see them so that I can validate that they are stepping through to support you in that. You are supported more than you think you are. And you are never alone. Oh my God, you are never alone. I'm getting lit up. I can feel it through my body right now. There's energy waves going through my body. You are never alone because they're like, yes, yes, tell them. You are never alone. Everybody has at least one guardian angel, let alone the other beings that are surrounding you, helping you with the different themes that you're working on in your life. They are there supporting you. They are always there. And all you have to do is ask. If you know that your grandmother's guiding you from the other side and giving you information, literally take that moment and say, Grandma, I want to talk to you. Literally, her energy will be there with you. I just got another wave as I said that. Her energy will be there with you. They, they don't leave you alone. They are still on the spirit side doing work, watching after you. They're not going to leave you just to go do whatever you're doing. They're going to make sure you're okay. And sometimes beings that, that transition from this physical life, they have work to go do as well. They might stay around for a little while and then they go off and they do different things and they have jobs. Just like you do when you go to sleep. Your little spirit goes and has things to do. You think it's gonna just sit inside your carcass and sit there and be like, well, no. It's time to be fully in your power. So me taking a step of being fully in my power is dropping the ego down and not being afraid of what people are gonna think about me when I start talking about angels and ETs, spirits, animals, the light beings that I see in the room, and I see them every day. They always know that, they always let me know that they're there. And let alone the synchronicities. So I'm gonna start doing these videos and hopefully it will help other people through my experiences to tune into theirs. All right? All right, this is like 18 minutes. So I'm gonna let it go. I appreciate you all. You are so magical and I am here to help you realize that magic that you know is in there you know it's in there like you know it's in there you felt it when you were a kid and you can feel it right now join me in this high vibe and you can have everything you want everything you want this is Derek Jameson with wonderful light body and I thank you so much.